What's up, everybody? Matty Ice back again. Doing the damn thing. Guess where I'm headed? You guessed it. New York City. The purpose of this trip is to ride the Revel scooters because I'm very sad that they're getting rid of them. <laughs> November 18th. They're done in New York City. Now, these Rebel scooters, they're pretty cool. I didn't ride them enough. I think I rode them like three times or two times. Once was in the snow or the winter. And uh, they go about 30 miles an hour. You got to ride them on the street. You can't ride them in parks or bike paths or bike lanes or whatever. Three people died on them. A lot of people ride them on the bridges, the bike lanes on the bridges. They ride them in the bike lanes. They don't wear a helmet. They don't park them like they should. So, three people died. One of them was a news reporter. And I heard that they were um, ending the scooters, the electric scooters. So, you know, I really didn't want to come today. To, to do this but today was my free day so I figured let's do it you know I'll regret it if I don't do it so that's the whole point of going to New York City we're gonna go to New York City we're gonna try to find a scooter take a little ride around the, the neighborhood and uh, and then I'll probably get something to eat I've never been up to the top here. I've always been down there more. I guess this is a stairway here. Elevators and stairs to Union Station. Oh, we gotta walk over that way. Yeah, let's go that way. Yeah, I kind of just threw this together quick. Wasn't really feeling it. Look at that. I'll be in a few minutes. And that's something. I don't even know what time the train leaves. Jump on a triggity train and giggity go and gizzity go. Yeah, it's almost winter. It's officially 
November 14th, 2023, 10.19 a.m. Maybe it's getting cold, maybe that's why I'm uh, not really feeling it. We're on level six. We could just hop on any train. I gotta use the bathroom. Let's see what the train schedule looks like. It says here. Track eight. Looks like when you want to look for a scooter, you just there's the map, these other scooters, 10 mile range. This one's got a 44 mile range, it tells you where it is. train right now so I have to wait to get there see there's one right over here
down here. What's that? And then we'll get this sign Connecticut this is the problem with fucking doing this shit because you can't see anything Alright everybody, what's up? Matty Ice in the trenches. I'm gonna give you a little update on what's been going on since since I got to New York City. So 
this morning I got a call that uh, some fraudulent charges were on my account. So I was like, what, what happened? You know, I checked my account, cause I got an app, my bank's got an app. Check my app, nothing seemed fishy. I called the number that called me. They called me and they left a voicemail. They said, Matthew, you know, they said my name and they said my account number, my, my, my debit card number and they said, you know, there, there was a charge on your account in the UK for like a hundred and something bucks or something. And I was like, hmm, because I booked a hotel room and I uh, bought a train ticket and I, I went to the ATM, I got some cash. So I don't know what happened. So then they said, you want to speak to uh, a customer, you know, customer care specialist or something. I hung up. I was thinking that the person that's calling me to tell me that my accounts, you know, someone made some fraudulent charges on my account, maybe they're the, they're the ones that are doing it, you know? So I was nervous. I was dumb nervous. So then I get on the train and I'm going to New York City and I, I, I use my app because there's a text message option. You could, you could uh, send a text message to the bank and talk, chat with them that way. And I didn't really want to, you know, talk on the train to somebody about my account and air my business out on the train. So I just sent a text message and they said, yeah, we did try to call you earlier today about a fraudulent charge. And I said, oh, was it from the UK? And was it like a hundred bucks or something like that? And they're like, yeah, a little, you know. And so what they did was they put a, fr a freeze on my card or they 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 made my card so it's it's uh, I can't use my debit card. So I was planning on using my debit card here in New York City for some things. So I booked a hotel room with my debit card. So now the hotel they're saying that there's an issue. Come to the front desk and uh, resolve the issue. Because I have a credit card. I have a credit card, I think it's good. Because I was gonna use the scooters, that's another thing. When I tried to use my, my debit card for the scooters, it said that the expiration date was wrong. So I tried to fix that, it wouldn't let me do it. So I, I tried to use a credit card. I got a credit card that expires November, the end of this month. So, that worked so I'm thinking that's what the issue is with the hotel maybe they want to talk to me maybe I'll uh, go to the hotel with this credit card and then and, and, and switch it over and get the room or whatever you know from my debit card to the credit card or I'm thinking maybe this is a bad sign you know because it's already 229 and I'm bushed I'm beat Maybe I should just go home, you know? I was just at Grand Central. I walked Grand Central Madison to 48th Street. I think I'm on 48th Street. I don't know where I am. You know, I think this is the top of the rock right here. I'm over by the Today Show. So I'm thinking maybe I should just go, go home, you know what I mean? But it seems kind of stupid to come here come here and then just go home. I mean, I've done it before. I've done it before. I rode my motorcycle to New York City once, got a sandwich at Cat's Delicatessen, ate on a park bench, and then went home. So. This is the uh, top of the rock right here. And then we got the Today Show. Today Show right there. There's the Today Show. With, uh, what's his name? Lester Holt. This is uh, NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. See, they're doing something in there. They got uh, people in there that are doing something. You can go right up to this little fence. And that's it. And you gotta leave. Can't go any further, I mean. 
So they got the crew in there doing stuff. That's where uh, all the big shots do the moves from. Then you got this tree right here. That's the Rockefeller Christmas tree right there. They're gonna put that tree up. They're gonna put that tree up. They're gonna light it, I think, uh, after Thanksgiving or I don't know, something like that. And there's dumb traffic. I came here to ride the scooters. I'm like, you know what? Where's the beds? I want a bed. They got NBC Rainbow Room right down there. I don't know if you can see it. See, this is the cameras and stuff for the Today Show. Bam. Maybe not just the Today Show, but NBC News. See, it says NBC News right there. Bam. Nightly news, yeah. Oh, this says 49th Street. Okay, I'm looking for 48th Street. So I keep talking about going home, but I don't know. I keep walking towards. I talk about going home, but I walk towards the hotel, not not away from it. I might just go to the hotel, see what I could do. And then just uh, take a nappy. Maybe get up later, ride a scooter. But I don't know, it's gonna be dark out. We'll see. One thing I wanna mention before I leave. One thing I wanna mention, one time I came here, I walked all the way to Right here, I walked all the way right here. And I got like right here. And this is uh, the Today Show. And when I got here, there was a security guard right right there like where those two people are standing and I kind of wanted to just stand here in the window I thought it'd be funny stand here in the window and then tell the wife to turn on the Today Show and record it and then I'd be on the TV but then the security guard said I had to I couldn't stand in the in the window I had to stand back over here or something so when they said that, I just bounced. Look at these guys up here, though. You see these guys up here? Working, you see them? Right up there. Look at that, man. Balls, yeah. And there it is. It's funny, I kind of don't want to go in. I kind of want to just go home. There's one hotel there, there, there. Three and three hotels. One building, yeah. Olive Garden.
Um, I had a reservation for um, Matthew Reed. Is it for him too? Or Home Two Suites? Yeah, they told me to come by the front desk because it was an issue. And then I, 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 they were talking about doing this auto call. Auto call. Talking about the deck that I put together. And, uh, and it's going to be under And they were, I didn't hear from them, right? So, They did it. Okay. Can I use a different card? Okay. Trying to go to 26. Thanks, man. Have a busy day. Sixth floor going up. Yeah. 
Take care. Look at this. I walk into the room and this is the first thing I see. It says, welcome Matthew on the TV. That's cool. Yeah, so my debit card doesn't work. I knew that. I don't know why, but when I was at the, uh, the front desk, I tried to use my debit card. I said, there's an issue. They want me to come to the front desk. And she's like, why do they want you to come to the front desk? She act like she don't know anything. So I tried my debit card and the debit card didn't work. So then uh, I said, can I use a different card? And I used a credit card. And this is the hotel room. Wow, holy shit. Look at this fucking view, man. That's cool. Wow. You get a view of uh, the street there and stuff. That's where I was. I was just down there. Wow, look at that. Look at that. They got, they got chairs and stuff. Look at that. They got chairs and stuff outside. That's cool. That's dumb cool. Sit out there and chill. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Look at that. And then they got more down here, see? Look at that, they got like a little patios and stuff. They got the witch. Wicked, what's wicked about anyway? I don't know. That's um, Times Square right there. I don't really like staying in the city like this. Like the, I kind of stay a little bit away from uh, all the hustle and bustle. Let me give you a tour of the room. So this is the room. I'm in the corner here. This is the bed. If I can back up a little bit. Oh, okay, there we go. This is the bed. This is the floor. And we got a little nightstand with a clock and a lamp. And then they got a picture here, old school, with tapes, cassette tapes. See that? Old school vibe. And then we got a little drapes. Got this TV with my name on it, which is cool. I wonder if it's touch screen. Uh, welcome, Matthew. Then we got a little mirror, full size mirror here, which is cool. Yeah, when I went to the um, the front desk, I was uh, recording. Look at this, we got like a little kitchen. I was recording and I was looking for my wallet. I had my wallet in my, uh, my, my pocket the whole time, my hoodie pocket. Got a phone here. little coffee maker there we got plates we got a salt and pepper shaker with no salt and pepper in it right no salt no pepper we got these little bowls they got paper towels they got a sink kitchen sink with some soap is this dish soap dish soap they got this thing this is like a, uh, this is a microwave. Convenience cooking. 
my garbage can there. Oh, they got a dishwasher. That's a dishwasher. Dishwasher right there. They got silverware, measuring cups, can opener, spatulas, the whole nine. Some, these look like uh, towels and oven mitts. And this is toaster and a cabinet. And there's a refrigerator, and I don't know what this is. I don't know, this is a refrigerator and this is a fridge. And you got your shower here with your toilet, sink, there's Maddie Ice. And then you got this chair, trash cans, sink. With sink a desk with wheels you can tell I'm tired and I got some bedding up there and some hangers and a luggage rack and a closet and a safe <clears throat> wow iron they thought of everything so I'm gonna take a load off and I'll uh, call the wife and I'll catch back with you guys later so this is the view at night. Just wanted to show everybody. This is uh, the view view. Can you see that TV or no? Right here, it's an M&M. &M. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe if I change the... I notice sometimes when there's lights, you can't see what it is or something. That's the street. And that's the street down below there. place right here or right across the way. So see you kid. Watch my, my YouTube channel. Just gotta find it.
There we go, YouTube. There's my channel. Yeah. We actually should go go over here or something because you can see, you know. Would you would you go get it? If you dropped it, would you go get it? See, that's Matty Ice Productions. All right, so I just left the hotel. I got like three hours before I got to check out of my hotel room. I figured I'd go try to find one of these scooters and ride it. And then go back to the hotel and check out. So there's a, uh, I'm on 48th Street, 49th Street. There's a scooter on 65th Street, East 65th Street. So I was going to take the subway up there. So I went down into the subway and there was a guy standing at the gate and he, I was looking for my subway card, and he was standing at the gate. He had the, the door open. And he was like, come on, come through the gate. What he means is, like, don't pay. And I mean, like, I didn't even say anything to him. So I just stood there. I looked at the app, see when the train was coming, said 18 minutes. He's trying to get everybody to to just because you're supposed to pay for the subway and uh or you can go through the gate i guess the gate is for like if you have a bike or something you pay and then you bring your bike through the gate because you can't think bring your bike through the turnstile or you can but it's just tough so he's standing by the gate said to this lady Hey, uh, come through the gate. And she shook her head no. And she paid, I guess, and went on the train. I saw that the train was coming in 18 minutes. I didn't feel like sticking around with that dude there. So I just walked back up to the street. And uh, I'm kind of walking because I was on West 49th Street, 48th Street. I'm trying to go over the east side. And then maybe I'll see if I can get a subway up to 65th Street and grab one of these scooters. We'll see what happens. By Radio City Music Hall now. See? Radio City, yeah. Radio City and Matty Ice. Together again. Got them nice decorations up in this piece. Look at this Christmas tree. 
lights on the trees. It's cool. So when I look at my app and I look for the scooters, first I gotta open my app. Could take a cab. Actually, I don't think I can take a cab. Yeah, there's a scooter right here. Right here. Oh, three mile range. That's not the one I was looking for. Right here, 35 mile range, 340 East 65th Street. So that's not bad, that's like half. And I'm on, I think this is uh, 49th Street, 5th Ave. I'm gonna see what's going on over by the Today Show. All right. Here it is, baby. Found a scooter. This is it. So these are going out November 18th. So I was just looking at the scooter. Hey, look at this, there's a rebel car. So they're getting rid of these November 18th. I just realized that there's nowhere to hold the phone. But whatever, we can still ride it anyway. Just can't go on the highway or anything. It sucks so. I gotta wear a helmet. Fuck. I think I could wear this.
the hell? No service? What do you mean no service? So, update. Remember when I found that scooter? I got on the scooter, I took a ride. I put the phone on this thing here. It's like a thing you wear around your neck. Phone goes into it. You wear it like, you know, this. It goes around your neck and your phone, you know, you really can't see the phone. You can't see if uh, things are all right, if things are recording. So I um, took the scooter for a little ride. I was doing pretty good. I was dipping. I wasn't riding for long. I found a street went down the street that said stop. There was a stop sign right in the middle of the road. I don't know why I do that, but I just went right past it. And there was some construction up ahead and there were some guys doing construction. And I kind of like looked at them and they looked at me and I thought they were going to say, you know, go ahead, you can come through. But they didn't. They were kind of looking at me like, why are you coming through? It says don't don't go through. It says stop. So I um, stopped to turn around. Next thing you know, it seemed like my tire, my back tire went flat. So I was like, what the hell? I kind of like skidded out. And um, I thought I hit like some oil or something, like an oil patch or something on the, on the road. I was trying to turn around, trying to turn the bike around. And it was difficult to maneuver the bike. I kind of like didn't want to, <laughs> I didn't want to believe that the tire was flat. So then I realized the tire was flat and I, I took I tried to, you know, gather myself and, and it was right in front of, I guess, a funeral home and a guy was cleaning up and he was uh, working for the funeral home and he said, can you move? I got a hearse pulling up, you know, soon. And I said, yeah, it's like wherever you stop, two seconds, just to stop for a second, people act like you're going to live there. So I rode out. You know, I got out of the way with my flat tire and I went out onto the street. And I was like, what am I gonna do? My tire's flat and the, t and the scooter was riding like crap. And um, so I found a little place, I parked it. And then I tried to end the ride. It wouldn't let me end the ride. It said I wasn't in the zone. I wasn't in the zone, so. I couldn't move the bike though because the tire was flat. I didn't want to ride around with a flat tire. So I got off the bike, I put my helmet away. By the way, there were supposed to be two helmets. There was only one. It didn't really fit. It was tight. It must have been the small one because usually there's a small and a large. And I had this hat on and then I, I put the helmet on. I couldn't uh, tighten the helmet. I couldn't like, like lace it up secure the helmet because that was broken the tires flat I, I got off the bike I said let me call them and tell them what happened 
So I called them, I sent them a text message, and then they said, that's okay, you know, you could go ride another scooter. I looked on the map, there's like two or three other scooters in Manhattan. I guess this mission is failed. I And oh, and then I looked at my, um, I looked at my camera and the whole time I thought my camera was running and recording, it wasn't. And I lost a glove. I had two gloves when I left the hotel and I only got one. So this, I wanted to come up here and ride these scooters because today's the 15th. In three days, they're, they're getting rid of them. Maybe that's why the tire went flat because, you know, they're getting rid of them. So they're not gonna take care of them, make sure everything's working condition because, you know, they're gonna get rid of it, so. I guess that's it, Rebel Scooter, peace out. Maybe something else will come along in New York City because I was kind of nervous to ride the scooter, like jump on it, but once you get on it, it's cool, it's fun. Kind of like gotta break the ice a little bit. That's the thing with the neck camera thing, you can't tell like if it's recording because you can't see so if you hit something like you shut the camera off by accident you can't tell you can't tell so i gotta get to my hotel because i gotta check out i gotta use the bathroom too and i guess i'll just you know get something to eat and then head home no point in trying to find another scooter it is what it is i'm over by central park right now on fifth avenue I gotta get back to the hotel. There's Central Park. I don't know what street I'm on, 70 something street. I gotta get to, oh, this is 69th street. I gotta get to 48th street. Maddie Ice on the block one last time. I'm about to hop on this train and go home. I'm in Grand Sench right now. I'm about to go home at 134. One thirty-four. New Haven. I'm gonna stop in here and get something. Get something good to drink. They got the gold peaks. teas. Look at this. They got mocha. They got French vanilla. They got originals. This is what we do at work. Take everything. Fix it like a fix-up. This is $30. It's not bad. That's called hip hop right there. It's the larger. So I'm back in New Haven, Connecticut, just getting off the elevator.
going back to my car, and going home. Back where I started. So, what do I give this trip? I give this trip a big thumbs down. Bad. Horrible. I should have never even went. See, I wanted to go ride these scooters because they're getting rid of them. I went there. I had problems with my bank. And I couldn't use my debit card. I had to use a credit card. Good. It's good I brought cash with me. It's good I got the cash out before all that happened. I rode the scooter for like 15 minutes. The back tire went flat. The helmet wouldn't fit. I was a mess, boy. I don't think I'm gonna be back. I was looking at the map. They got like two scooters in Manhattan and there's all these scooters in Brooklyn. Look at that, the way I parked. I parked kind of weird. That's my car right in the middle. It's not even in a spot. Which is like a drunk person. That's it. I'm going home. I can't even park. It's almost like my car was moved or something or hit. I didn't even realize that. What an idiot I am. I can't believe somebody parked right there. I wonder if they damaged my car. I didn't even recognize it at first. It's not even in the spot. It's in the, it's half in, you know, it's kind of on the line. It's in that other person's spot. I feel so bad. I didn't even realize that. You know, I was just so... I had such a hard-on to go to New York and ride these scooters and stuff like that. I wasn't even thinking straight. I was like, let me... Uh, let me just g get out of my car and go... to New York City. That's awful. What an idiot. I didn't even realize that. I'm an idiot. Back where I started. Let's get out of here. All right, peace out.